Lucifer is ready once again to quit his job as the ruler of hell and come back to Earth for more fun. The fans were disappointed after the sixth season, as they were informed that the show ended. But did the show really end? Let's find out. Now, let's jump in with a short recap. Fans are wondering if the show will continue for another season, taking in mind that the previous season easily reached the top of Netflix's list. In fact, in the first plan of the showrunners, there wasn't even season 6, but what fans asked, they got it. Before I move on with the future plans, I'd like to return to season 6 for a moment. Season 6 was something that the fans really desired, but is there something like too much of Lucifer? Of course not. Considering Netflix took on a lot when it picked up the admittedly odd show and heated the fan-run campaign after it was canceled by Fox, well, I'd say that was an impressive season. But people, you can't wrap up a show where characters live for eternity in hell, heaven, or somewhere else. There always will be space for more. What fans found most interesting in this season was the story surrounding Ella Lopez. Lucifer and Michael, his twin brother, fought at the LA Coliseum to decide which one would become the new god at the close of season 5. Ultimately, Lucifer won the battle with the duplicious Michael, and he seemed poised to ascend. But he isn't quite sure he's ready to leave his friends and Lux as season 6 dawns. In the meantime, Chloe can't seem to hang up her detective persona since she agreed to be God's consultant in heaven. This all becomes clear when you read the title of the first episode. Nothing ever changes around here. The great thing is that this season made some experiments. It wasn't straight away a murder of the week format. This season clips an episode that eschews the monotony with some perspective, insightful and hilarious shifts. There's always something new in this show, and that might be the reason for its popularity. One big happy half celestial half human family. Crisis averted, right? But if I'm still here... Season 4, for example, saw Lucifer try musical and film noir episodes. But these changes are only possible because of the show's sense of humor and the cast natural chemistry. And this combination has worked in Lucifer since the beginning. Season 6 succeeds most. Right in the sequences where they give love to its supporting characters, Ella's story was a bonus, something that we really needed. And this season gives her more to do than just play a sidekick. A whole fun episode that revisits Eve's past and the scenes she has with Mace just add more toppings to this dish. In general, it was nice to see the show catching up with all the important characters, including Dan and Linda, and I'm in a deal this time. He hits that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. No, really, this time he had probably the most poignant arc. Motivated in part by racial disparities while trying to help Caleb, he decided to enroll in the police academy. All this happened within those 10 episodes. This season chose to go in some risky corners, even though we know that it could have done more with less. All in all, it had everything. It was fun, touching, silliness, and a great cast that sells it. And now, let's move into the plans for the future. It seems like an eternity since season 6 was released, but the showrunners Ildi Modrovic and Joe Henderson hope to do a revival of the DC slash Vertigo TV show in the near future. The show first aired on Fox, but it was officially cancelled in May of 2018. Fortunately, Netflix swooped in on time to save the series. Soon after, Lucifer became one of the most streaming platform's strongest performers, just like many successful Netflix dramas. All this led us to Season 5 Renewal, which was supposed to be the show's last chapter. Then Season 6, and now we're talking about Season 7. The showrunners are ready to go even further into the fantastical and celestial elements of the mythology this time. In fact, in their last interview for Screen Rant, they said, I hope so. We loved making the show. We loved working with these people. I think, hopefully, at some point, we can find a way to come back, or at least revisit. It was such a great time, it's such a great experience, and we love these people. So never say never, said Joe. If the rumors are true, Season 7 should start filming this year, and it will be released somewhere around September of 2024. In the meantime, there was another idea, bringing Lucifer back in an animated format. 
In that case, the actors will have to only lend their voices to their characters. I love you both. I love you. Networks and studios are doing countless revivals every year in the current age of nostalgia. Lucifer could easily be resurrected if the creative team comes up with the right story, and especially as a limited event series. Ellis's Lucifer could always appear in other DC media, even if his show doesn't come back. So something similar to his Crisis on Infinite Earths cameo. Even though we're talking about the possible seventh season here, Joe Henderson had something else on his mind after the conclusion of the Fox slash Netflix drama. In his interview for TV Line, he was asked if the producers are open to considering fleshing out the Lucifer universe with some side offshoot project. As Henderson confirmed, there have been discussions about the possible spin-off project, but the writers for now decided to write as many stories as they could with the characters, rather than saving them for a spin-off. But as I said before, these guys are celestials, there will always be a place for more stories. And Joe agrees with that. There are always talks about spinoffs. I mean, honestly, especially early on, making sure we told as much story with all our characters, knowing this was our one shot, and then finishing the season and then discussing any spinoffs after, especially once we made Maze a bounty hunter. All that stuff. We fantasy created that show in our heads, said Henderson. Well, that's because you're avoiding your guilt, Reese. You need to confront it. You all do. Now, back to the series. Season 6 didn't actually resolve everything. Lucifer returns to his domain in hell to smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. No, really, in all seriousness now, Lucifer returns to hell to finish his job and to redeem all the lost souls while Amenadiel on the other side becomes the new god of heaven. Furthermore, he allows Chloe to travel to hell and, for one last time, reunite with Lucifer. But even though Chloe and Lucifer are reunited, the question about Rory is still open. What happens with her half-human, half-angel daughter? Will Rory be there in hell with her parents? Henderson and Modrovic never wanted to leave any loose strings in the story. But if the show goes on for another season, they should definitely check these notes. The show's finale ended up being only about Lucifer and Chloe, but you can't exclude a character like this. So even though it was mentioned that they'll live as a happy family for eternity, we'll definitely need to know more. Hello, detective. No matter what will be the main focus of the seventh installment, or whether that'll be a spin-off show about some of the important characters, I really hope that we'll hear some official information soon. Until then, we have more than enough material to tie up with. And what about you? What do you think will be the main focus in season seven? Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.